Good day everyone, we'll be talking about coding data for a quantitative research. Before data analysis, it's important that you coded your data and it's also important to note how did you gather your data. Did you gather your data using a pen and paper survey or did you do an online survey? In this particular video, we'll talk about data gathered through pen and paper survey. Before we do the coding, we have to understand first the variables and indicators that we will be using in our coding. Our statement of the problem will be our guide in determining the variables and indicators of the study. In this particular study, the study aims to assess the acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform and includes questions like what is the profile of the respondents in terms of sex, grade level, strand, and final grade in ETECT. So as you can see, we already have four variables for statement of the problem number one. For the statement of the problem number two, what is the level of acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform assessed in terms of usefulness and ease of use? So we have two variables, two main variables, usefulness and ease of use. But we do not know yet how many indicators we will be using in the coding process. For SOP number three, it's a test of difference. So we could not identify any variable there necessary for the coding. And for our last variable, so we have the challenges encountered by the respondents. So once again, we have one variable, which is the challenges. So aside from the statement of the problem, we also have to look at how the options or the choices were given in the actual survey instrument or the questionnaire. Say for example, for the profile of the respondents, options are shown for sex, male and female. For grade level, you have two options, grade 11 and 12. For the strand, you have ABM, UM, STEM. And for the final grade, it's a blank field, meaning that the respondents are expected to enter their actual grade. For the level of acceptability, so perceived usefulness has five indicators, A, B, C, D, E. And for perceived ease of use, we also have five indicators. To be rated based on a scale, a four-point scale, 4321 and using the level of agreement strongly agree for 4 agree for 3 slightly agree for 2 and disagree for 1 and for the challenges we have multiple responses and we have five options so given this so how do we do the coding process Say for example, these are the options checked under profile. So we could actually assign numbers. One, if male is checked. If female is checked, we assign two. If grade 11 is checked, we assign one as a code. Two for grade 12. If ABM is checked, the code there is one. Two for UMS and three for STEM. And for the final grade, we just type the actual value. As regards level of acceptability, is if 4 is checked, so we type in 4. If 3 is checked, we type in 3. So meaning to say that the codes are actually the represented value based on the rating scale. And for the challenges encountered, we use 0 if the option is not checked and 1 if it's checked. So how do we do this? Let me open a blank Excel file. So you have your respondents. I'll just be coding respondents from respondent 1. Say for example, respondent 1 to 50. This is a guide. And going back at the profile, I have their sex. I have grade level. I have strand. And I have grade in ETEC. So 
So going back here, my options for the level of acceptability. I have 2.1 for usefulness, A, B, C, D, E. So I could have a code here, 2.1A, 2.1B, 2.1C, 2.1D, 2.1E. And for 2.2, we have A, B, C, D, E. And for the challenges, I simply have here challenge 1. I have 5 challenges there. So I have challenge 1 up to challenge number 5. So these are the necessary variables and indicators of my study. So as I code, I just have to look at the actual pen and paper responses. See, for example, going back here, one is checked, so I have one, grade 12 is checked, two, STEM is checked, three, and 82. So I have one, grade level is grade 12, two, strand is STEM, so the code there is three, and the actual grade is 82. And for the responses on the level of acceptability, I have four, three, three, one, and two. I have 4, 3, 3, 1, and 2. And for the ease of use, I have 3, 3, 3, 4, and 2. 3, 3, 3, 4, and 2. And for the challenges, I have here 1 is checked, so that's 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So my code is 10011. So I'm done with my first respondent. I could actually freeze panes here to help me with navigating this. So when I scroll down, the headers won't disappear. When I scroll to the right, the respondent number won't disappear. So I could continue this on from the second respondent down to the last respondents so that's basically how you do manual coding